My name is Lindsay Solomon. I am 27 years old. Um, I currently live in an apartment in the East Village on 5th and Bowery. This is the first apartment that I've had that is completely mine. So I really find it to be like a really great opportunity to, for me to make it very personal, um, bring in things that like represent me as a 27 year old man in 2019. What I found the most special and the most gratifying is that this year alone, I found that like I find myself the most like attractive and like I really like have come into my own like personality wise in terms of like thinking that I'm attractive and like um, owning it or having like a, like, a level of self-confidence I didn't think I had before. And I think that comes with like looking at your belongings and kind of seeing like where you're at in life. I think very much this apartment is a representation of this outwardly representation of self-confidence and like where I've been and where I'm going. And I really tried to make this space like me with a capital M. And um, I think they have accomplished that. <laughs>
And then I just have like a bunch of charms and pins that my grandmother had. So this beautiful flower, John F. Kennedy on a necklace. So my grandmother's name was Lenore and her maiden name was Lindy, which is why my parents went with Lindsay. So I have a little L pen because I miss her a lot. So I have that with me. Then I also have these little porcelain dishes, which I use to, like, I don't know. They're little miniature vessels, which I keep all the charms in. And it's like, you know, a mini shrine to my grandmother, which I think is really special. In my early 20s, I had sort of like this like obsession with Chloe Stephanie, especially during my time at NYU when that comedian was doing those impressions when he'd be like, down the center of the camera and go, Good evening, I'm Chloe Sevigny, and today we're talking about birthdays. So when I was 23, I had the opportunity to go see Chloe Sevigny at Urban Outfitters in Midtown Manhattan. Everyone who um, took a picture with Chloe had to use the hashtag like Chloe by Urban Outfitters, and then she would pick six winners to get signed portraits of her, and I was one of them. So this is one of my prized possessions. She signed it. The signature is a little like worn because it's been in boxes and has been traveled a lot, but uh, I hold it in very high esteem, which I also was, thought was really funny. Like, you know, like, you know, guys have like Sports Illustrated models like hanging above their bed, like the sort of like sex symbol I have. Chloe Sevigny hanging above my bed. Which is funny, because you think at some point I would get like a Timothy Chalamet poster, but I haven't found the right one. But yeah, something that I, I very much love and I love displaying in my, my sort of space are these like amusement park type photographs where you go on a ride and then you, you and your friends are taking a photograph. So I, I have two of them, one of which is the American M Museum of Natural History. Sorry, I was stuttering. I think like being a gay man, I always was sort of searching for the sense of community amongst like male friends. I think as gay men, we struggle with feeling like we're man enough. I think for a very much long time, I was very much searching for that, where I, like, I felt like I was man enough. Not being, not that being gay doesn't mean that you're man enough, but that like the sense that like, I was searching for this like, sense of brotherhood. But what I really enjoy about these photos of me and my friends is that, so I met these guys through my friend Adam, who was my college roommate. But through Adam, I met all of his friends from home in Vermont. And one year I went out for Christmas and spent a week with them. And they're now my best friends. They're my brothers. I love them very dearly. And what I enjoy about this friend group is it's just like a very much like a symbol of unconditional love. I can be myself around them. I can be stupid, I can be incredibly vulgar, and it's kind of like this no holds bar sense of humor. As someone who works in like a very image focused sort of space, it's nice to like just be an idiot every once in a while and just be stupid and like share like silly memes or like I'm really into TikToks right now and I like saying them and most of them are quite vulgar, but like it's not the sense of um, anyone's judging me. Um, I have them on my bedside table when I wake up in the morning and I look even when I'm having a really like crappy day it's nice to look and know that there's like a bunch of dudes that like have your back and um, I feel very loved. If you're an eligible Jewish bachelor looking for love, follow me at Lindsay P. Solomon on Twitter and Instagram. That's L-I-N-D-S-E-Y-P-S-O-L-O-M-O-N. And if you like any of these Museum of You videos, like, comment, and subscribe.